What is up, Breaking Bad fans? Kino here, and we're back with another Breaking Bad log. Today we're looking at the fourth episode of Season 3, Green Light. We open the episode with Jesse getting gas after his cooking trip to the desert. He doesn't have enough money to pay for the gas, though, so instead he offers to trade meth to the girl at the cash register. A cop walks in while they're discussing the deal, but Jesse keeps his cool. And I think she accepts, partially because she's so turned on by how cool and suave he's acting. It's a sharp contrast to Walt, which we'll see later. I have to say, though, I only realize now on rewatch how much of a scumbag Jesse is being here. This girl had never tried meth before, and Jesse plays down how addictive it is. Pretty fucked up considering how he got his last girlfriend back onto drugs and it led to her overdose. Of course, it's the girl's own decision, but still careless on Jesse's part, since he had only a few episodes before admitted his responsibility in Jane's death and the subsequent aftermath. After the title, we see Saul trying to build a class action lawsuit against the airline company for the crash. This is referenced in future episodes, the Wayfair 515 minisode, and of course, Saul's propensity for class action lawsuits gets recontextualized from the storyline in Better Call Saul. He's then informed by Mike of what's going on at Walt's house. With the bug, they overhear Walt fighting with Skylar about her affair with Ted. They also realize that he's going to confront Ted at his office. At Beneke's office, Walt demands to talk to Ted. When Ted refuses to leave his office, Walt attempts to break through with a pot. He's eventually thrown out by the workers, and Mike arrives to bring Walt to Saul. Saul warns Walt to avoid Beneke unless he wants to get arrested, and encourages him to start cooking again. Walt then realizes that Saul bugged his house, and this, along with comments about the affair, lead to a fight between the two. Mike, annoyed, has to break it up, and Walt ends up firing Saul. He also demands that the bugs be removed from his house. Mike removes them, but as he's leaving, he sees a scythe drawn at the front of Walt's house, a symbol from the cousins of their intent to kill Walt. Later at the school, Carmen talks to Walt about his weird behavior. Feeling distraught over Skylar, Walt makes a move on Carmen, which she immediately rejects. He's then put on indefinite leave from his job. As he's leaving, Jesse shows up and asks to talk. He tells Walt that he wants to get back into the drug business and wants an intro to Gus. Jesse then shows Walt the meth that he cooked on his own. Walt is offended that Jesse used his formula without him and ends up criticizing the product. This is of course more about Walt's feeling hurt over Skylar rather than Jesse's actual ability. They get into a fight however and Jesse ends up driving away angry. Meanwhile Marie drops Hank off at the airport for him to go to El Paso. Hank acts like he wants to go, but we can see how agitated he is. He then gets a call from a sheriff about some blue meth they found. Hank ends up missing his flight, and instead goes to interrogate the guy they found it on. In the end, they aren't able to get much info, and Gomez questions Hank on his strange behavior. Hank reacts very defensively, and goes off on his own to investigate. He tracks down the meth to the gas station from the beginning. After intimidating the cashier girl, she admits that she got it from a guy driving an RV. Though the cameras are not working, Hank gets a shot of the RV from an ATM camera. He doesn't get the plates though and has to track down all the RVs of that model in New Mexico. When his boss tells him that he has to choose between this and the El Paso promotion, Hank says that he can't go back to El Paso. His boss then tells him to continue investigating. Meanwhile, Mike delivers a report to Gus about Walt's health, and also informs him about the scythe. He asks why Gus doesn't simply tell Walt that he's the only thing keeping him alive, but Gus says that he doesn't believe fear to be an effective motivator. Again, this is funny considering what we know about him in Better Call Saul, but that's a conversation for another time. Mike also informs him that Jesse wants to make a deal. Though Gus has no interest in working with junkies, he decided to do the deal when he learns that Walt and Jesse are fighting. 
Jesse then exchanges the meth with Victor, but only gets half the amount he was promised. As the episode ends, Walt is driving along and gets the other half of the money tossed into his car, with no idea what's happening. I don't have too many behind-the-scenes details to go over this time. The title of the episode refers to Walt being given the green light to start cooking again through Gus's manipulation, as well as the green light at the end of the episode. The opening scene was filmed at a closed-down gas station, and you can see the traffic cones that they had to set up to stop people from driving up to get gas. This is also the last time we see Walt at his teaching job in the series, and I also believe this is the last time we see SaveWalterWhite.com, as Saul has the donation system shut down after their fight. And that's pretty much everything I have to say about the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and stay tuned for the next one, coming soon. You know, it doesn't hurt to have patrons watching your back. Russell, Sean, Heart of Markness, Logan, Clean, John Reyna, Jesse Sterling, Andrew Stewart, Ob's Gracing Media, Daz J. Kit, Conan Higgins, Sam Cedarlin, Don Lucania, Celery Man, Jenna Marie Johnson, and Brad Smith Studios. <laughs>